Hey guys, today I'm going to be starting a new series on how to create various elements of the website. And today I'm going to start with the menus. And the first topic under this category is icon bar. So now let me show you what this icon bar is. You can see that this is a vertical icon bar and we are going to create two different types of icon bar one is the vertical one second one is the horizontal one and you can see this horizontal one and the icons that i have used in this icon bar is totally uh, dependent upon you you can use any other icons and i'm going to use sublime text for creating this you can use any other text editor of your choice that uh, totally depends upon you and your choice and open the text editor and write HTML and it will show the autocomplete HTML hit enter and all of these statements will be filled in automatically or if it didn't you can write these statements pause the video and write them then add language attribute to HTML tag then let me quickly give the title to this page how to create series and menu and horizontal icon bar so we are going to start with the horizontal icon bar first then write meta tag Now to ensure proper rendering and touch zooming in mobile phones and other touch screen devices we are going to write a statement write meta space name and viewport content width equals device hyphen width comma initial hyphen scale equals one Okay, then write a comment font awesome icons and we are going to use these font awesome icons in our icon bar then write link tag you can hit enter and the autocomplete feature of the text editor will fill the statement and then open your browser and open a new tab then write font awesome icons We are going to copy a CDN link of the font awesome icons or you can write CDN font awesome icons then hit enter then open the first link that is the font awesome bootstrap CDN by stack path then you can see the link here and copy this and then we need to paste the link in this attribute href then write style then delete the type attribute and we can just leave it like that because we will write the css part later and all those css styling will be done in this style tag then drop down and in the body tag let's start with a div tag and write class as container then drop down and create another div tag and write class as icon hyphen bar we will use this class to style the icon bar later in the css part then drop down and create a e tag that is the link 
write the class as active because we want the first icon to be uh, as the active one then create a i tag then write class as fa space fa hyphen home this is the name of that home icon that we have used in our icon bar and let me just quickly save this file somewhere and open in the browser so that we can side by side see the progress in the browser as well okay now you can see that we have the first icon that is the home button now let's add all of the other icons create a tag then create i tag and write class as fa space fa hyphen search then copy this entire statement paste it few times below then let me just quickly change the names of the icons this one to envelope then this one to map then calendar and then address hyphen book globe and if you want to use any other icons then you can just search for font awesome icons in a new tab and you will get all of the available icons and you can see the names of the icons and then use that name in your file to get those icons then the last one is trash and open the browser and refresh and you can see that we have all of the icons now and we need to style them so now let's move to the css part get in between those style tags dot icon hyphen bar you can see this icon bar is the class that we have used with the div tag or the div element that contains all of the icons write width as 100% and let me just quickly leave a comment then write background hyphen color as hash triple five this is the code for that dark gray color now let's see in the browser then drop down and write overflow it's auto then drop down and write dot icon hyphen bar space a this will style all the links which are in the icon bar then write float as left float as left will make sure that the links appear side by side text hyphen align as center and text hyphen align will align the text or align the links centered then write width let me just count the number of the links so we have one two three four five seven eight eight links 
so divide 100 by 8 and you will get this 12.5 if you want to see how I have got this 12.5 then let me open the calculator so in total we have the width as 100% and we have 8 links so divide 100 by 8 that will give us 12.5% for each link Now let's open the browser and refresh and you can see that the links are equally spaced now then write color as white this will make the color of the icons white you can see that in the browser Then write font hyphen size as 36 pixels. This will increase the size of the icon. And you can see that change in the browser. Now we need to have that hovering effect. And before that, let's add some padding. Write padding 12 pixels space 0. 12 pixels is for the top bottom and 0 is for the left right. Refresh it and we can see the change in the browser. Now write transition. All space 0 0.3 S space ease. This will add the hovering effect on the links. Then drop down and write dot icon hyphen bar space A colon hover. Then background hyphen color as hash 0, 0, 0. Refresh and you can see that we have this hovering effect. The background of the link over which we hover turns absolute black. And there is a slight transition effect when we move the pointer away from the link. Then write dot active. and background hyphen color as hash ff5733 and this will change the color of the active link and by default the home button is the active one you can see that in the browser now now we need to add some padding to the container class that we have Right padding 25 pixels this will be all around refresh it and we have the icon bar exactly same as the one that we have in our example okay now let's move to the vertical bar and if you notice we only need to change the styling part and the rest of the HTML part is going to remain the same so what we can do is we can copy all the statements from this one horizontal one and create a new file and paste them there in the new file and remove these two stylings that is for the dot icon hyphen bar and this dot icon hyphen bar space a remove these two stylings then change this vertical to horizontal in the title tag then let's save this file 
so that we can open it in the browser and see the progress side by side while we make the changes give it a name and save it anywhere where it can be accessed easily then open the file in the browser so you can see that right now we have all the icons and we have the padding for the container class and that we have the that pink background for the active icon and we need to now make the icon bar vertical now write dot icon hyphen bar then write width as 100 pixels and if you remember we have used the width as 100% in the horizontal one and here we have defined the width to be of 100 pixels then background hyphen color as hash triple five which is slight dark gray background let's save this and see in the browser then drop down and write dot icon hyphen bar space a then write display as block then font hyphen size as 36 pixels this will change the size of the icon then color as white this will change the color of the icons refresh and you can see the change in the browser now let me quickly add comments with this display as block will make the links to appear uh, below each other and not side by side then write text hyphen align as center then write padding as 20 pixels this will be all around save it and see in the browser and we have this vertical icon bar exactly the same as the one that we have in our example now let's just add some hovering effect write transition all space 0.3s space ease refresh it and we have the hovering effect as well so this completes this video and i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching